Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Netco. In this video, we are going to learn how to integrate the Instant Logger in our Playwright Cucumber framework. It's going to be very easy. Already, I have a detailed video on the Instant Logger. Please check that out if you do not know anything about the Instant Logger. So in this video, I'm going to just do the integration. So first of all, we have a folder called Utils within the helper and within the util folder we have a file called logger.ts and here you can see like very basic options to create the functions so how i'm going to do it is very simple so we are going to create a folder called test result slash logs already we have the test result like whenever we create our um, uh, cucumber report we'll store all those in the test result results folder then we are going to create a folder called logs and based on the scenario name i'm going to change because we know that we have like multiple features so we have like add to cart feature where we have like two outlines uh, with examples and then we have this two scenarios right so i want to get the logs for each and every scenario rather than having all those within the same file so that when i can check the, when i see the result i will be very clear with my logs okay if you want to create in single file of course you can do that but i will recommend or i will prefer to go with multiple log file so that will be very easier to understand even if there is an only failure probably you can create the log as well okay so here we can see like we have got the file name first and then we have the level so level in the sense like we are targeting the info which will also con contains like other informations and then we have the format uh, format is basically like how we want to get our output so here we are just using like uh, info level and then followed by the timestamp and followed by the message i will show you that in the output okay so here we have this transport array and within that we have this object and now we are just returning and we have this as a function and here i am getting the argument as a scenario name okay so that's it very simple you can just copy paste in your framework and that should work fine okay now coming back to this hooks so here is the actual configuration so how we we should write the logger right so first of all i'm going to do some changes in my fixture so this is like page fixture here i'm going to add like logger one more and then i will say like this is going to be undefined or as it's going to be like logger and that is coming from my winston before that of course you should install the uh, winston package so npm i then followed by winston dash t okay so if you use this command of course it will add the winston package to our project already i have so you can add it newly so now if i go back to my hooks what we are going to do here is here like before each and every scenario we are just getting the page object right so similarly we are going to say like page fixture dot logger and here i'm going to say like create logger from the winston and then here i have to give my scenario name right before that of course i have to use this option so this is the option i have created so here i can just type like options and it will do the auto import here you can see date logger is from winston package and this option is from our logger file and here of course i have to give the scenario name to get the scenario name we have this options here we can use like pickle and then i can say like const scenario name equal to pickle dot name and pickle dot name can have duplicate for example if i go to my add to cart feature here you can select like add to cart but it will execute for the 17th line and as well as for the 18th line so if i have the same name it will be confusing so instead of that i can go with the id also so id is basically going to be unique always so here i can say like um, pickle dot id okay. i hope you are able to understand why we are getting this pickle name and the item id and here i can pass that okay so that's it we are pretty much done so what will happen in the sense like the create logger function it's going to create the log with the given options and within the given options we have this transport we have this format and we have this file name in the file name we are like using the scenario name plus id to store the logs okay that's it very simple now how we are going to write the logs in the sense like it's going to be very simple but before that like we have to close this logger as well which is not necessary but good to have i can say okay and please close the logger 
in the after all do not close in the after it will end up with an exception so it is always best to close after all your scenario execution okay now how we are going to use this logger in the sense like similarly we use the page so for example if i go to my step definition file so here i can say like page fixture dot logger dot info let's say that it has been navigated to the application similarly if you want to uh, write like for different things you can do for example here i can say like uh, waiting for two seconds something like that now you don't have to write logs for each and every steps that is not required i will attach a link in the description you can go and check it out for the best options to use the logger okay so here i am getting some text of course i want to see this in my logger so i will say like page picture dot logger dot info and then i can say like user name colon then followed by the text okay so that's it similarly you can uh, give like multiple things okay okay so similarly i'm just going to add to one more add to cart steps as well so let's say that here we are going to search for like uh, page fixture dot logger dot info and here i'm going to say like uh, searching searching for a book then followed by the actual book name so that will be a good log i guess okay so yeah that's it we are pretty much done now let's go and execute i'm going to close all my file and i'm going to go to my terminal and then i'm going to say let's go to my json file and here i have the tags called test i'm going to remove this and i'm going to run npm test so we are running in the headless mode if i go to my hooks file probably you can see like um, invoke within the invoke browser i have like headless equal to true that means of course it's going to run in the headless mode so so far we have implemented a lot of things we have the reports with chart we have the loggers we have the uh, screenshot on failure and a lot of things we have implemented i hope this really helps you guys um yeah if you like the series please share with your friends and colleagues that will help our channel to grow yeah so we got the uh, report so if you want to see the report you can just go to the folder and here you can see like we got the index.html file so of course there is no failure so we can't uh, see the um, screenshot but that is okay now if i go to my test result folder and if i go to the logs and here you can see like we got the uh, scenario name along with the id so if i have like both the folders within the same name like add to cart add to cart that will be override right but if i have id then if it will be definitely unique so that's the reason why i have done like this and if i go and open the log file then you can see like navigate to the application it's waiting for two seconds and it's searching for the book called simple wild and then if i go to the another log here you can see like it is searching for book name called roomies similarly here we have the login so here like the i got the username as uh, otoni and then i have here the log is basically just waiting for you might wonder why we are getting the navigate to the application and waiting for two seconds in all the scenarios all the logs because that is how our step is defined so if you go to the um feature file in the add to cart also we have the background of same in the login feature also we have background of same that's why we got both the things now of course i don't have to write the user navigate to the application in the background i can bring that to my hooks as well but i will just leave that to you maybe you can do more changes okay so we are pretty much done with our framework only thing is like how to write reusable functions and the page object model already we have learned the page object model and how to write the usable functions in detail but still i will just show you at least like i can bring the page object model code here and i can show you the integration okay so that's it from my side uh, let me give you a quick recap go to helper create a folder called util within within that create a file called 
logout.txt and have this code this code is really easy if you believe that you don't know anything about this just watch my previous video like the winston logger video where i have explained this in detail once we are done with this uh, make sure you have the return keyword as well or else it won't work then go to your hooks and within the hooks here i have like page fixture dot logger and i'm just creating a logger for each and every scenario and i'm closing the logger after all the scenario please do not close in the after you will end up with an exception now this name also doesn't make sense to me because if you see now we are not only getting the page fixture rather we are also getting the logger so instead of page fixture i can rename this to fixture that will make sense i believe okay so if i rename that then if i go to my step definitions i believe it should automatically change yeah that is the beauty of typescript it will do the changes automatically but still if you want you can check yourself every file i guess yeah it has been changed okay so that's it guys that's it for this video thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon Ta -da, bye bye take care